I'm so bad at this game. Turns out it's really hard to go fast at this game. Let's get the black screen again. Nope. Uh, Glitch Garden. I don't know who the dad is. I think the dad is dead, maybe? She calls Mimic uncle, although I think canonically Mimic isn't actually her uncle. Consistently running is so hard. Five-ish. Thirty-six. Not bad.
Okay, less scary now. I wish I knew how to do that. Cyclone makes it look really easy. And that's easily a 30 second time save on this split. Really? Really? Oh, that's... That sucks. That's a lot of time. That's fine. Cinepe's probably gonna ruin me anyway.
holy cow, we're dropping a lot of frames suddenly. Well, after this run dies, um, for those of you who can hear me, uh, we'll be swapping over to uh, a different Twitch server. Things have been really bad on that front lately, and I'm not sure why. Slightly too slow, that cycle. Didn't get hurt though, that was nice. And it didn't even matter anyway. Oh well.
go. That was a really bad fight. Maybe I'll add in sub splits at the mini bosses. I am starting to get not terrible at uh, clawing the Genesis controller, which is not something that I anticipated being somewhere that I was going to be with my life. vulnerable when they're in the air. That's interesting. Okay, don't miss that jump. Holy cow. That room's always rough. It's good running. It's grade A running across that platform.
That was a really bad room. It was probably slower than intended. Gosh, this is bad. All right, second fireball. Oh, that's rude. I knew that was coming the moment that I saw the, uh, the second place fireball. There we go. Still potentially, not even potentially, this is a gold. This is a hardcore gold. Really, really sloppy, but gold's a gold. Yo, Lucas, how's it going? You just finished learning Cape Kill. Congratulations. I hope that you enjoy your, like, half a minute time save on Bowser. That was bad. I tried to 
I tried to cut corners there. I paid. I paid the price. Gonna get a run in tonight. Oh, that's awesome. I'm excited for you. So there's a there's a skip here that I'm gonna go for. Where right after getting the bucket you can skip the the round trip. do that that's like a minute and a half time save and if I can't I'm only losing like 20 seconds attempting it so totally worth it go around again. Yeah, the whole dungeon's mapped out. It's a pretty straightforward dungeon. Um, there's just that one cycle skip right there that you can do, and it saves a bunch of time. So otherwise you have to basically take this entire circuitous route around the whole thing again. right here. You might recognize this as the place that we fell through when uh, we got the bucket to begin with. Overall, it's a well-designed dungeon. You would almost think that the designers were aware of the uh, infinite jump glitch. Turns out if you mash up um, and you get really unlucky, 
There's a couple of frames where you can go through that and it doesn't actually trigger the... Um... the cutscene where the the electric bit goes up. And it's it's really bad because that means that you have to go through again. Which is a bummer. Loses a bunch of time. Got it? Cool. So not being in the water is a slightly faster fall. Saves a couple of frames. Something nice for your SNES. I will have to check that out. Don't mind me, I just apparently have forgotten how to do this dungeon.
Could have been worse. Could have been a lot better. Could have been worse. So there's one time save that uses the infinite jump that the uh, the world record uses that I'm not going to do in this run. All right. There we go. Which means we're still going to go left first. It doesn't lose that much time, so I feel pretty okay. Perfect. It's just... Not worried about health. I mean, I'm a little bit worried about health. So in the world record, um, this is the second chest that you get because you just infinite glitch or you infinite jump up here. I guess I'm going to take those hearts after all. The game just wants me to be healthy. That's all. Ooh, lucky. So 
So there's a bunch of backtracking all the way to the left that I'm going to do now. And the world record video cuts out this walking portion by using the infinite glitch to uh, jump up there second. It's like 20 seconds time save. So it's big, but... But I'm not contending for world record yet. Yo, Rocket Dodger, how's it going? I think now we've got shield dudes that I can just jump over. Alright, snakes. I can just jump under them. Or not even jump. And I get a full health refill after this upcoming boss. So it's not a huge deal. Right, turtle dog, owl, sparrow. It's fine. Come on over here. Let's get that split. Freeze our friend. I just go right down and then right. <sighs> Pyramid 2, I tell you. The 
The one thing that I do like about Pyramid 2, though, is that the route that I came up for is the exact same that the world record came up with. Like, it's not, you know, it, it, it's a pretty obvious route, but I totally miss the infinite uh, jump glitch in um, Ice Pyramid 1, so... Adventure time. right here so we don't fight. It's way off. Dude, let me, let me just get by you. I don't want to fight. is a bad fight. I should be getting two hits on him each cycle. Not one hit and also missing it sometimes. Alright.
please. suck at this. I really need to get better. This is the part that I'm most worried about uh, if I were to submit this to GDQ. Save stage. Does host a... Holy shit, my PB got that really fast. Could have been worse. Language is hard. Also, I've stopped picking up any gold bars in my route, which means that one of the questions, uh, which was, do you have any gold bars right now? Thankfully, I, I was able to uh, catch that and select no that last time. No, no, it is. It's far than near. I hope. Yes, it is. Please? Okay, cool. Good game.
Bummer. That would have been nice to have. not. I need to go back this way. Besides, getting a heart fill-up would be nice. Especially if I keep playing like that. Oh my god. All right, let's just go buy the hearts now. I'm not gonna gamble this run away. Most stubborn and hubis I've ever fought. That was a good fight. Right, I have to go talk to the lady first. Crap. Fun fact. The, uh, the world record ended two and a half minutes ago.
All right, everyone. This is this is the sad part. So get your Bible prize out. Want to drop maybe? Is that how you do it? You jump and she drops? That is how you do it. Jeez, that was a bad fight. But yeah, see, it's sad. Alright, it's happy again. Oh, so I'm using the debug armor. The debug armor lets you set uh, Pepe's level from anywhere from 1 to 3. And uh, it turns out that, that whether or not Pepe should be dead doesn't really factor in. Uh, which is why you get to wrong warp here to the next scene. So I'm going to go get bodied by the queen now. This skipped an entire dungeon, by the way. All right, everyone, this is the happy part. See, Pepe's still alive. Yeah, it does. It skips the worst dungeon. Aegis Island is really hard. Yeah, so the game copes really, really poorly with having two Pepes on screen. I'm not... I, I could disassemble the game and figure out why it does it, but... Um, yeah, it, it clearly doesn't like it. If I had to guess, I'd say it's because the small Pepe and the large Pepe uh, come from different sprite tables, and when the small Pepe exists, I should... I should go ahead and make you exist again, by the way. But yeah, when the when the small Pepe exists, uh, there's a different sprite table active. That's my best guess, and it could be completely wrong. Okay, well. Good thing I got that heart drop, I guess. Cool. 
Yeah, but keep in mind, that's a totally naive guess. I have no idea what's actually going on internally. Oh, right. It's that time. Please drop a herb. Nope. No curing for me. Bummer. Yeah? Really? That's fine. <sighs> Used it earlier than I wanted to, but this will be fine. Uh, well, that was nice at least.
Hey, it's another Pepe. Oh, this is the sad part again. Hey, five minute PB, not too bad. Okay, these drop frames are ridiculous. <laughs> Imposter Pepe is, is the one who died. Okay, that's fair. It's not so sad then. I'm gonna have to switch servers. <laughs> I've dropped 15% of my frames so far. That's that's unacceptable. We're gonna let the credits play out because I've got a local recording, but Hey, it's the happy part. Don't hug imposter Pepe. I, I, I don't know. I, I think maybe, maybe the, um, the black magic Pepe is actually the imposter. Have you considered that maybe necromancy is, is the problem here? Slice Mage, thank you for the congrats. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this run. Couple of, of improvements in this one. Couple of skips I still missed. Uh, I've got to get more consistent with the infinite hover. I've got to learn enough kanji to be able to do the, the quiz well. But all in all, um, yeah, not, not too unhappy with this run. It was a pretty good one. <laughs> 